Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, April 24th, 2016 by Gaia Bloomy. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, it was all worth it for the revelation. And today we move from evolution, revolution, and we start the day in that evolution, revolution energy into the evolution revelation. And this is where any of the triggers, any of the energy of the last day, and especially with this big full moon that we had the last few days, suddenly are starting to make sense as everything is starting to kind of like fall into place. Like, oh, I see why that had to happen. I see why I had to move through this. I see the understanding that's come around for it. And like I said yesterday, we need that contrast often to help us shift into the next energy. And we also have the moon shifting out of Scorpio into Sagittarius, taking us to a lightened level. After the intensity, we move into understanding. We see a broader perspective. Um, and the moon in Sagittarius, it encourages us to open our minds, expand our horizons. And the moon today is connecting to Mars, Mars in Sagittarius, which is retrograde. Mars retrograde in Sagittarius is helping us hone our desires, really get to know our desires. So it is kind of a little bit about that drawing back of the arrow, being pulled backwards to hone the energy so that, you know, when Mars goes direct again, we will be able to move straight in the direction of that which we desire. So that is the only connection today is Mars conjunct um, the moon in Sagittarius. This is at eight degrees. So this is about showing up for your desire, recognizing any of the shift that's gone on over the last few days with this intensely powerful moon. It was very powerful for me, big shifts for me, lots of inner process, inner work for me happened with that moon, but it helps us, you know, like I said, pull back, shift our desires. So again, we're ready to keep moving forward. So allow the revelations to come through. Besides that, we still have Mercury finishing up at 22 degrees today. So we're still getting a little evolution, revolution in our thoughts. And we're still getting some shift around our worth in our thoughts. So hopefully some revelations will come through you for you in that. But just pay attention to any areas that you're still feeling triggered in your mind. Um, we also have uh, Pallas today. Pallas is finishing up in Aquarius. So Pallas in Aquarius has been helping us shift our vibes. And at the 29th group degree, it's really important today to really notice from this place of having done this deep work, from this place of this broader perspective, from these revelations, realizing, oh, the universe and hitting our buttons isn't picking on us, but instead working with us. How are you showing up vibrationally and how are you showing people who you are on a vibrational level? So just tune in to your vibrations as these revelations come through. We also still are working with, you know, broadly with the energy of Venus and Uranus, uh, connected and they're also connected to Eris, all in that Aries energy. So we still may have a little bit, a little bit more information coming forward in our relationships with others and how that reflects on the relationship with ourselves um, and how it tunes us into, how it tunes us into, um, again, how we're showing up on a vibrational level. So just pay attention to how those relationships in your life, whether it is romantic or friendship or coworker, how they are affecting you. Let those revelations come in. See from a broader perspective. And like I said, the universe is not picking on you. So the cards I pulled, let's start with these. I pulled stress reverse, exhaustion reverse, and laziness reverse. I could say that these direct were kind of my experience with the moon in Scorpio. It was really, it was a tough moon. And saying these are going away. And instead, from that place, we're moving into nothingness and the master. And nothingness is the place of pure potentiality. It is the universe filling into our physical existence. This was not, for, you know, not all for naught, you know. We needed to go through this process. So don't beat yourself up for those times over the last couple days that you were lazy, that you felt exhausted, that the stress came through. Let the revelations move through and show you what kind of mastery you have now stepped into. <clears throat> so that's it for today, these revelations. I'm still gonna be offering um, a Reiki level one class online in the coming soonness of time. So if you're interested in that, 
email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Um, I'm also going to be offering a class, it looks like, in New York at some point in June. And I'm always offering here in Northern California. So if you're interested, let me know so I can, you know, start putting the pieces together. Email me for that. And book a reading if you'd like to dive in deeper. Besides that, I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.